Hello YouTube and welcome to another Windows tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how you can set up an encryption for a drive or partition in Windows 10. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first of all, let me show you my uh, PC here. So as you can see, I have a lot of uh, drives and partitions. And let's say that I want to encrypt one to protect it from others, okay? So here I'll be choosing this quite empty one called M partition, okay? But here I will not use any third party program. I will just use built-in program in Windows 10. But you, ha you must have a professional or enterprise version of uh, Windows in order to perform that, okay? So remember, you must have a professional or enterprise version, okay? And you must also have uh, Windows Vista or 7 or 8 or 10 in order to get that, okay? So actually, we'll be using what is called BitLocker. It's a built-in encryption system in Windows, okay? So I'm going to show you how. So first of all, this is my partition called M. It contains just a simple text file for testing. So if I open it using, for example, Notepad, it's just a text file, hello world, okay? So now in order to perform that, I will click on my menu here, start menu, then go to my setting. And in the window setting search box, I will just type bit locker, okay? So you can see here I get manage bit locker. So I will click on it. Et voila, I get another window which contains a lot of information, okay? So this is my volume here or drive actually, which is a removable drive called M. But as you can see here, bit locker is off. So first of all we must turn it on so i will click on this link here in order to turn on bitlocker here we go what i get here bitlocker drive encryption for my drive m so we have to choose how we want to unlock this drive so we can use password i will can use smart card but i don't have smart card so i will just use a password to unlock the drive okay so here for example you see the message passwords should contain uppercase and lowercase letter numbers spaces and symbols so that's just for increasing the security of your password so I will choose here just simple one because I'm just testing it okay here we go then I will go next So here, another dialogue. How do you want to back up your recovery key? In case of you forget your uh, actually password, you can recover it using this recovery key. So you can save it to Microsoft account, you can save it to a file, you can print it if you want. But here I will just choose the simple method. Is there to save it to a file? So remember, if you forget your uh, password you can use this recovery key in order to recover it okay and I will save it in my documents but I will advise you to save it in a external drive or USB drive if you want to be sure okay so I save it then I will go next so now we have to choose how much of your drive to encrypt so we can encrypt used disk space only faster and best for new pcs and drives and we can encrypt entire drive slower but best for pc and drives already in use so i will stick with the first one because it's faster and best for new pc and drives and my drive or partition is quite empty so that will be a nice choice. If you want, of course, to, to encrypt the entire drive, you can go on with the second option if you want. There is no problem on that. 
Just remember it will take a lot of time depending on how big your drive or partition is and how much data are actually saved in this drive. Okay, so here I'll just hit next. And this is another option, we have to choose the encryption mode to use, okay? So I'm using here Windows 10. So actually from this version here, 1500.111, introduce new disk encryption, okay? So here we can use the compatible mode, best for drive that can be moved from this device if you want to use, for example, some other older version of Windows 10, you can stick with this compatible mode or you can just use new encryption mode best for fixes drive on this device. So if you don't want to remove this drive from this PC actually, you can stick with this first option. But if you are planning to take your drive and actually install it on another machine or another PC that has another version of Windows 10, you can just go with the compatible mode but me my drive i will just keep it on this machine here so i will just choose option number one and then i will go next so now we are ready to encrypt this drive okay so here you see you will be able to unlock this drive using the password okay encryption might take a while depending on the size of the drive until encryption is complete, your file won't be protected. So I will start encrypting and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. So as you can see here, the encryption actually <laughs> was pretty, not faster, but you will see here just in the taskbar, a new icon have appeared. So you can see here the encryption of M is in progress okay and now as you can see encryption of my partition m is complete because actually it was quite empty quite new just one file so the encryption is completed very fast so i will close that and now let's see what happened to our drive actually the drive that was encrypted using BitLocker. So you will see here small padlock in the drive which means this partition actually is protected by BitLocker encryption. Okay, so let's see if I want to read it. I can. Okay. So this is just a text editor that pops up. So if I right click on it, you will see a lot of options here. So I can manage BitLocker, I can change BitLocker password and so on. Okay. So in order to test if the encryption has actually succeeded, all we have to do is to restart our PC and see what's going on. Okay. Okay, now I have actually restarted my PC. So let's check our partition or drive. But before we do that, I forget to tell you something very important. If we go back to our settings here and we type BitLocker, so we manage it. In order that to work, you must also enable this TPM. Actually TPM stands for trusted platform model so you have to activate it in your bios so it depends on which bios you have in your machine so you have to activate it and the status must be tpm is ready for use in order to activate bitlocker if it's not the case you have to prepare the tpm and also the machine will restart and you have to enable it in your BIOS, okay? So it's really important to activate BitLocker and also to enable TPM, okay? So now let's check our drive and see what's going on there. 
So this is my PC here. So now you can see that the partition M, which has been enabled by BitLocker, has locked by a padlock which is closed. So if I double click on it, I get this message here, enter password to unlock this drive. So I enter the password and unlock it. Now I get actually access to my partition and this is the file that I have been saved or which is now encrypted. Hello world, okay. So now you can access actually your BitLocker partition. Okay, so remember that always activate it in your settings, BitLocker, and also the TPM model. Okay, and you can also access manage BitLocker just by right clicking into your partition and choosing here manage BitLocker. Okay, so here you can get back up your recovery key, change password, remove password, add smart card, turn on auto lock. So when you log on, you don't have actually, it will be unlocked automatically. And you can even turn off BitLocker if you want, okay? So that was all for setting up BitLocker into Windows machine, but you remember you have, you must have a professional or enterprise version of Windows in order to activate it, okay? So as always, I hope it has been informative for you. And I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.